welcome to Clyburn Kids. I'm Buddy Bray, I'm your host for this program, and we come to you from the Steinway Piano Gallery in downtown Fort Worth. We're gonna talk today about how composers put music together. It's really what the word compose means. Anyway, to compose something is to put together parts of things. And sometimes it's helpful to think of music the same way you would think of letters and words and phrases and sentences. We even call the notes on the piano by letter names. Here's an A, for instance, and a B, and a C, and a D, and an E, and an F, and a G, and then actually on piano we start over at A. We only have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we have letters on the piano just like you do in words, and we can make words on the piano by combining letters together just like you do when you're writing. If I put an A with a C, that sounds pretty good, then I can add, AC is really not a word, but if I added an E to it, I would have a word, that's a real word, ace. And it sounds really good on the piano too. That's called a chord when I make a whole word out of letters on the piano, we call it a chord. And there are chords all over, it's not just that one, I can make a chord anywhere on the piano. This is a chord, that's one, here's one, here's another one. I can make it with one hand, or I can make it with both hands, up high, down low. Sometimes the chords don't even have to sound good to be chords. What if I made a chord out of the word cab, C-A-B, C-A-B. This is a C, here's the A. Now we have a, have a B. That doesn't sound as good as Ace did. So chords don't always have to sound pretty, but we can still make them. The piece you're gonna hear today, the actual music, starts on this chord right here. And then other things happen, right? When we make words, we, we put words together and we can make phrases or sentences out of words. Alex McDonald, who's a friend of ours, is going to play you just one phrase on the piano. Here it is. That was Alex just playing that much music, just one phrase on the piano. kind of hangs in the air, like a phrase hangs in the air if you don't finish it. If you don't make a whole sentence, then the phrase itself just kind of hangs in the air. Like if I said, for instance, the dog outside, that has to have some resolution, right? That's, that's not the whole story right there. That's like the dog outside. We have to finish it and make a whole sentence out of it. Here's the rest of that sentence. Alex is going to play it for you now. So now we have a whole sentence. The dog outside. What would be a good ending for that sentence? The dog outside is cold, okay? Okay, so now that is a whole sentence. We're gonna let Alex play it now as a sentence. Put the two phrases together, the dog outside is cold. Watch this. You see how that works? These are sort of musical building blocks. Words, phrases, whole sentences. 
that we use to make music. We could go even further with the story. We could have Alex play another whole sentence. Watch this. So Alex McDonald just played us another whole sentence and it seems kind of related to the, to the first music he played. So if we were thinking about that as sentences, our first sentence was, the dog outside is cold. Now the second sentence should sort of go with that a little bit. So what if the second sentence were, it's warmer inside, so we should let him in. I think that works. So now we have two musical sentences. The dog outside is cold, that's one sentence. And then we just had that second one. It's warmer inside, so we should let him in. Let's see how both those sentences sound together. Here's Alex again. That's how music is made, one sentence on top of the other. We have sentences, we have paragraphs, we can make whole stories, just like Mozart did in this piano sonata. Here's part of the first movement of his piano sonata in D major, Kirschel 284, and here's our friend Alex McDonald to play it for us. Make up the rest of the story about the dog coming inside. Here's Alex. <laughs> That's how composers write music. It starts with the letters, and the letters become words, and the words become phrases, and the phrases become sentences, just like you do when you read and write. It's almost the same thing in music. Our thanks to our friend Alex McDonald for playing that excerpt from Mozart's Piano Sonata in D Major, Kirschel 284. That was from the first movement of that sonata. Our thanks again to the Steinway Piano Gallery for hosting us. I'm Buddy Bray, I'm your host for Clyburn Kids. We have a ton more content on our website, lots more episodes for you to enjoy. We'll see you next time.